Now let us understand how to select the text using mouse. To select a word, the method is to double click on the word. To select a sentence, the method is hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence. To select a paragraph, the method is triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph. Now select a large block of text, you have to click at the beginning of the text. Press the shift key and without releasing it, click at the end of the text. To select entire document, the method is click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key or triple click in the selection area. Ok, let us talk about inserting the text. Microsoft Word allows the users to add new text to an already existing document. Place the cursor to the right of the character where you want to insert the text and then start typing. The existing text present after the cursor, if any, will start shifting to the right side. Students know the fact. There are two text entry modes in Word, Insert and Overtype mode. In insert mode, the new next pushes the existing text, if any, to the right of the cursor. Whereas in overtype mode, the existing text is replaced by the newly added text, character by character. To select and switch between these modes, right click on the status bar. The customize status bar menu appears. Select the overtype option. Overtype button appears on the status bar indicating that the overtype mode is on. To switch on the insert mode, click on the overtype button. Now let us learn how to move the text. This feature allows the user to change the position of the selected text from one place to another. There are more than one ways of moving the text. Select the desired text and click on the cut button in the clipboard group on the home tab. Bring the pointer to the desired location and click on the paste button in the clipboard group. Or, select the desired text and press Ctrl plus X key combination. Bring the pointer to the desired location and press Ctrl plus V key combination. Right click on the selected text and select the cut option from the context menu. Now bring the pointer to the desired location. Right click and select the paste option. Copying and pasting the text. Copying text means duplicating the text by keeping a particular piece of text as its original location as well as pasting it at another location. This feature helps to save our time and effort in typing. Just like the moving operation, copying operation can also be carried out in three different ways. Using copy and paste button in the clipboard group to copy and paste the selected text respectively at the desired location. Using Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V key combination to copy and paste the text respectively. Using copy and paste option from the context menu. Students, do you know the fact that clipboard is a temporary storage area in Windows that allows you to store, cut, copy and paste data while switching between the applications? Up to 24 multiple text and graphical items could stay on the office clipboard until you exit office applications. After exiting the office applications, the last item that you copied stays back in the clipboard. Alright students, let us talk about deleting the text. What provides the facility to erase the text? Follow these steps. Select the text. Press the delete key. The selected text will be removed. You can also delete text by using the backspace key. It removes the character to the left of the cursor position. To delete a block of the text, select the text and then press either the delete key or the backspace key. Students, let us understand how to use undo and redo commands.
Microsoft Word keeps track of all the changes that we make in a document. We can easily undo any change and restore the original text. Undo Undo option reverses the effect of the last command. To reverse one or more than one action, click on the Undo button present on the Quick Access toolbar. Redo Reverse the action of the Undo command. Click on the Redo button present on the Quick Access toolbar. Now let us talk about checking spelling and grammar. Word has a built-in dictionary and a set of grammatical rules to check the spellings and grammar of the text document. Incorrectly spelled words are displayed with a single red wavy line under them. The grammatical errors are indicated with a green wavy line. The spell check starts from the position of the cursor and checks the complete document. A simple method to check the spelling of any word is as follows. Right click on the word underlined with a red wavy line. A shortcut menu opens, displaying various suggestions. Select the correct spelling from the suggestions list. Microsoft Word automatically replaces the incorrect spelling with the selected option. Students, note that the shortcut key to check spellings and grammar is F7 key. Students, we can also click on spelling and grammar button in the proofing group on the review tab to correct the spellings and grammar in the document. The spelling and grammar dialog box appears with the wrong spelling highlighted in red along with a list of suggestions. Alright students, let us understand the use of thesaurus in MS Word. Thesaurus helps us to improve our vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms, words with similar meaning, and antonyms, word with opposite meaning for any word. Follow these steps to use thesaurus. Select the word for which you want to find synonyms or antonyms. Click on the Review tab. Select the Thesaurus option in the Proofing group. The Research Task pane opens, displaying the synonyms and the antonyms. Move the mouse pointer to the suitable word. Click on the drop-down button and select the Insert option. The existing word will be replaced with the new one. Students note that all the above mentioned operations can be carried out similarly in Word 2007 also. The only change is that instead of File tab, you will find the Office button. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A shortcut key is a particular key or key combination that helps in quick execution of a specific function within a program. Making changes in a document is called editing. To perform any action like copying, moving, finding, replacing, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text first. There are two text entry modes in Word, Insert Mode and Overtype Mode. In the Insert Mode, the new next pushes the existing text, if any, to the right of the cursor, whereas in Overtype Mode, the existing text is replaced by the newly added text. Character by character. Incorrectly spelled words are indicated with a red wavy line under them. Grammatical errors are indicated with a green wavy line. 